ang galing. Nag-record lang ako kanina, pero hindi na record. So, ayun na. Ang motor na naman. Let's just get started. So, these are the 10 Hong Kong travel tips for Filipinos na pupunta. O yun nga, Hong Kong travel tips for Filipinos. Sa tips to para sa mga Pinoy na pupunta sa Hong Kong. So, this is 10 tips lang to guys and let's just do it. Tip number one is plan your trip, tip, trip ahead. So, I know, I know it's kind of obvious pero I want your itinerary to be to be as detailed as possible. If kaya nyo na i-detail talaga, kung nari, pupunta kayo ng Disneyland, i-detail nyo kung ano yung unan yung ride, ilang minutes kayo maghihintay doon, ganun. Para alam nyo yung mga gusto nyo sakyan. Para hindi kayo mag-regret sa huli na, ay, hindi ako nakasakay sa ganito kasi ganyan. So, kailangan i-prime nyo na yung, yung trip nyo. So, and also, give your family members, kunyan, if may kasama kayo, give your also your family members your itinerary para alam din nila if magtatagal kayo sa ganyan, ganito, and para ma-inform din sila. And, second, ay, tip number two is buy tickets on Klook. So, subok ko na to, tickets on Klook are much cheaper, and kapag nag-book ka sa kanila, it's less convenience, and may 5% cashback pa. I'm not sponsored. Hindi to sponsor da. Pero ayun, I really recommend Gloop. And, nung pumunta kasi kami sa Hong Kong Disneyland, I bought 3 plus 1 tickets sa kanila. So, sobrang laki ng tipid nung 3.5 ata yun. So, I really recommend Gloop. Guys, not, not only for tickets, but also if kailangan yung transpro from airport to ganyan, meron din ganun doon. And, kahit ano, food, vouchers, meron doon, meron din doon, SIM card, ganyan. And, dahil nandun na rin tayo sa SIM card, my type, tip number 3 is buy SIM card. SIM card, necessary to if lalo na hindi kayo nag-travel and tours, if wala kayong package, if sa sarili nyo punta doon, wala kayong, wala kayong kasamang tour guide, sobrang helpful ng SIM card kasi kailangan mo mag-connect, kailangan mo mag-connect for Google Maps and everything yun. So, SIM cards are available in the airport and also in the 7-Eleven and convenience store and sa mga MTR station. And, fix yung price nila guys. Walang mas mura sa ganyan ganito. And, yung pagbili ko nung SIM card doon, hindi ko naman siya naubos. So, huwag nyo naman ng loadan. Try nyo muna ng... Try nyo muna yung talagang kasama sa SIM card bago nyo loadan. Pero, sobrang ganda na internet connection nila doon. Maabot ako ng 50 Mbps. So, maganda talaga yung internet connection ng Hong Kong. Tip number 3 is download application. May mga online apps tayo and offline apps para sa mga pupunta sa Hong Kong. Yung online apps is the Hong Kong Disneyland application. Kung pupunta kayo doon, I really, I really recommend you to download it. And Ocean Park application. Yung mga apps na yun, may mga waiting time sila. Kunwari, yung It's a Small World, nakalagay. 30 minutes waiting time. So, pupunta ka sa iba. And may mga show time din sa kanila. Kunyari, yung magic, Magical Minnie Mouse Show. Nakalagay, 8pm. So, alam mo na talaga kung kailan ka pupunta sa mga show. So, I really recommend you to, back, to download it. And the offline maps that offline <laughs> applications that I that I downloaded are the Google Maps and yung MTR na offline offline na guide. Yung MTR is like MRT sa atin, pero sa kanila sobrang ganda ng MTR nila because Hong Kong is just a small country and yung buong Hong Kong sakop ng buong MTR. And dahil na doon na yung tayo sa MTR, may ano na, may Tip number 5 is mag-MTR kayo or buses kasi MTR is very accessible to accessible, accessible to attractions. Talagang malapit sila sa mga attractions like yung Ocean Park, sobrang lapit lang ng, sa Ocean Park Station as well as the Disneyland. And M MTR is very fast. Hindi siya katulad ng MRT sa atin na medyo inefficient, medyo mabagal. The MTR there is one of the most fastest 
Oh my god, one of the fastest. One of the fastest. Ah, uh, may ganun ba? Fastest or most fast? Oh my god, I don't know my English. Pero yun, mabilis siya. Na, mabilis na lang siya. <laughs> And, uh, less, con less hassle siya pag magkukumpit kayo. Magkukumpit kayo. And the signs are, mababasa mo naman siya. Minsan, pag tinatamad akong basahin yung pangalan, yung color code. Sobrang ganda ng mga color code doon. Talaga, pag A21, ganyan. Pag red green. Minsan yun na lang sinusundan ko. Pero English din naman yung sign nila. All their signs are English and in Hong Kong language. And yung mga offline maps, really helpful. And kapag nasakay ka sa MTR, magbiblink yung next station. So maganda talaga yung MTR nila. I also recommend you to to nasa number 5 pa rin na in, sa buses kasi mas mura siya kesa mag-taxi ka. Ang mahal ng taxi sa kanila And, yung mga taxi sa kanila, parang Pinoy, nanduduga din. So, huwag kayong mag-taxi. My fault is, hindi ko na lang sinabi, Kuya, follow this, follow this, ganyan. Yung problema siguro kasi talaga is language barrier. Konti lang alam nilang English. Some vendors don't know English. So, that's, tama, don't know. So, yun talaga guys, nahirap, mahirap makipag-communicate sa mga Hong Kong locals. Although, madaming Pilipino dun tulong sa'yo. Pero yun nga, sa taxi, sabihin nyo na lang, pag magka-taxi kayo, na i-follow yung Google Map para hindi kayo nagutuwayo. That's my tip for taxis. And num my tip number six is buy an octopus card. Tapos na ba yun? Hindi pa. So, octopus cards are very helpful. <laughs> Kasi yung octopus card is like a gift card, which ang cost niya is 50 HKD sa adult. I don't know sa children, pero mas mababa siya sa children. And 50 HKD siya, tapos pwede niyo siyang loadan. And pwede niyo siyang gamitin, not only on the MTRs, but also on the convenience stores and restaurants. So, maganda talaga yun. Yun talaga yung ginagamit na. Tatap ka lang, papasok ka na. Even the buses, tap ka lang, pasok ka na, tapos, yun, tapos na. You already pay. And, Huwag kayong mag-alala kung may namatira kasi pwede nyo siyang ipalit sa Hong Kong Airport. Kunyari, uh, may natirang 10. So, 50 plus 10, 60 yun. Bapalit sa inyo, 52. Kasi 8, 8 yung charge nila sa card. So, ganun guys, 52. Parang 50 yung deposit nyo kasi dun eh. Kung sakaling, pwede kayong maging negative kasi 50 talaga yung balance nyo dun. Pero pag binalit nyo, mamainos lang kayo ng 80. 8 pala. So, kung 60 lahat nyo ang anan nyo, Minus 80, ito ibabalik sa inyo. And, kung gusto nyo, huwag na ibalik. Gawin nyo na lang souvenir card. Yung octopus card. Number, tip number 7 is for the food. 7, 7. It's for the foods. I really recommend you guys to baon your food. <laughs> Kasi mahal ang pagkain sa Hong Kong. Mahal talaga. Siguro, 350. Ganon, isang tao. Mahal talaga siya. Mahal. Ang bandrate, ganon. Isang tao, mahal talaga guys. So, I really recommend you to baon. Siguro sa breakfast, bring cocker oats, milks, milo. Pwede naman siya sa check-in baggage and sa inyong carry-on baggage. Pero, when we, when, we go, when we went to Hong Kong Disneyland, we bought the food voucher. One, five ata yun. Three in one na siya sa club. Pero lunch, dinner, and merienda. Sabihin nyo, one, five! Three in one lang! Lunch, dinner, merienda lang guys, nasabi ko sa inyo, worth it yun. Kasi pagpunta nyo sa Hong Kong, makikita nyo that their food is mahal. Hong Kong Disneyland, siguro 1,000, gano? 1,000 per tao. So, I really recommend you to buy that food voucher. And, tip number 8 is exchange your money. Money. <laughs> money. 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 In the Philippines. Huwag dun sa mismo Hong Kong. Kasi let kasi mahasel siya, magharap ka pa ng time para bumili, para magpalit ganun. So dito na kayo magpalit, guys. Your local banks, uh, maganda yung deal. So doon na lang kayo sa banko magpapalit. Pero kung may kilala kayo mas mataas yung palit, ganun, doon na kayo. Pero sa banko, maganda din naman yung deal nila. And pero, pero, and pero. Pero the banks requires you two valid IDs and visa and proof na kaya travel kayo for leisure not for jobs so si 
siguro ang proof niyo is hotel and the flight details ganun and minsan tumatagal siya ng 2 to 4 weeks due to availability of their currency kaya guys kapag magpapapit kayo sa banko agahan niyo and yung malapit sa Trinoma may mag, may magandang exchange market doon doon sa malapit sa National Bookstore pag na-netcho niyo yun meron doon so doon kami minsan nagpapapit Number 9, tip number 9 is ano bang mga dadalhin sa Hong Kong? First is water bottle. So, parang importante nito. Dahil napakamahal ng water bottle sa Hong Kong. Wa Ay, water tama. So, magdadala kayo ng water container. Water bottle. So, <laughs> kasi may mga water station doon and libre lang yun. Minsan nga yung hotel nyo may water station din eh. Or inn, ganun. Or guest house. May mga water station doon. So, yun. Pati sa Disneyland and Ocean Park, may mga water station din guys. So, don't forget to bring your water bottles. Second to bring is adapter. Kasi, the socket there are not the... Katulad sa Philippines, dalawa lang yung tusok-tusok. Doon is tatlo. I don't know if type G ata yung tawag doon. Basta, um, pero the other, the other hotels, guest house, have their travel adap adapter. So, kung pwede nyo tanongin sa receptionist. Pero para sigurado na rin, magdala na rin kayo, guys. And num number three to bring is umbrella. Kasi the weather in Hong Kong is crazy. Minsan umulan, minsan sobrang init. So, you don't know, guys. Just bring an umbrella for protection. <laughs> and guys, ito, no, sinasabi kong dalin nyo is medicines. Grabe. Sobrang importante yung si Lin Chua Ball. <laughs> si Lin Chua Ball, guys. Kasi ako, si Mama, si Daddy, like, si Lin Chua Ball kami during those times na nandun kami. Kasi para iwas sakit, ganun. And bring your maintenance, ganun. So, number 10, and my last tip for you guys is enjoy your travel. Minsan lang kayo mag-travel, guys. Minsan lang makapunta ng Hong Kong. Minsan lang kung saan kayo pupunta. And, hindi nyo na mababalik yun. Hindi nyo na makukuha yung opportunity na magkaroon ng time, ng money, ng age, kung medyo bata pa kayo ganyan. Hindi nyo na mababalik yun. The memories. And, so, enjoy it as much as you can. As much as possible. And, Hong Kong, for me, it's my first international travel and sobrang ganda niya. Iba siya sa Philippines although, syempre, Pinoy tayo feeling na para sa atin, mas maganda pa rin ng Pilipinas pero, iba siya, iba siya. Nakikita natin that Hong Kong is, pwede siyang maging ganun. Pwede maging ganun ng Pilipinas. When it comes to travel, sana ganun din ka-efficient yung MTR natin ganun. And seeing Disneyland and Ocean Park. Yun. Sobrang saya. Kahit na siguro my mom and dad are in the 40s, in their 40s, and they really enjoy it. And my brother is just 6 years old, and he really enjoyed it. So, Hong Kong is one of the best and easiest country to travel. Kasi MTR lang, buhay ka na eh. And bus lang, buhay ka na. And yun talaga yung first time Yun talaga yung pinaka-recommended ko for first-time travelers. And, yun lang. Ang dami ko na sinasabi. Yun lang. If... Hi, Ma. Sana, if may nanonood nitong iba, maging informative ko sa'yo. And, yun lang. God bless, guys. Enjoy God's creation habang may oras pa. Yun lang. God bless.